Hello. <laughs> this should be covering down here. So you guys can't see what's going on. Sorry. <sighs> I have notes and other notes. I'm just looking. At, we have seats here. If you guys, if there's people who need to sit or want to sit. And you can leave, too, even if you want. Jack, do, Jack, do you want to sit? You don't have to. I know. You want to bolt out the door. All right. I understand. So uh, let's see. Um, the reason I'm wearing this is it's an away jersey. And, and I'm away. So, and it has my name on it. And my wife gave it to me, so I have to wear it. So, anyway, um, you guys don't know about this in New York because you have, you know, all the, your teams, but only people know this in, in Baltimore and in San Francisco, which is that orange stuff is really cheap because nobody wants it. <laughs> so, like, I can go to, like, Ross Dress for Less and come home with a bushel of orange stuff. And my wife will go, that looks horrible. And I go, no, I'm a great Giants fan. <laughs> And then everybody, it still looks awful, but you know, in town it's okay because they think you're just an enthusiastic fan. And you know, come Halloween, who do they come to? <laughs> you know, you open your closet and you go, hey, do you want to be the sexy pumpkin or the slutty traffic cone? You know, <laughs> I have all of it, so I'm just saying that happened. Um, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, I wrote a book. I wrote this book. We'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> Not now. Um, so I'm going to sign your books tonight, and it'll be fun, and we'll, we'll have a procedure, and I'll meet each and every one of you, and we'll touch. Um, <laughs> and um, I went by the CDC the other day, and, and I waved to Ebola for you, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get it. So anyway, um, I, 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 you know, so it's like it'll be like 300 books, 400 books, no big deal. But two weeks ago, I signed 2,000 books in one afternoon. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's pretty impressive. And, um, you know, with a Sharpie. And um, I had only done that one time before. There was a warehouse in Seattle, outside of Seattle. I went into this warehouse, and there were all these books on a pallet, and these four guys waiting to put them down, flap them, they call it. And I'd sign them, and they'd take them away, and then they'd rebox them and, and put them back on the pallets. And I walk in with my media escort, because we get an escort in every city. It's not as fun as it sounds. Um, <laughs> they're just a person that drives us around and makes sure we don't get lost. But anyway, I, you know, so she's with me. And I walk in, and this guy has this handful of Sharpies. And he slams them down on the desk, and he goes, the record is 800 an hour. <laughs> 10. And my media escort, without missing a beat, goes, duh, six letters. I said, I don't, I don't know what they pay you, but it's not enough. So, and the guy said, yeah, but she did it with two tiny dogs on her lap. And I said, that's her secret. It's Taoist alchemy. She uses their tiny dog life energy until they're just little dried up, desiccated balls of fur with little, those little inbred teeth that don't fit into their mouth. They're just little teeth and just fur and then they just, and they're cr crispy and they just put them in the corner and they set two more down and Amy signs another 800 and that, and there they are, they're just little dried up dogs humping on Amy's lap as she signs. I know I said they were desiccated, but it's a dry hump. Um, so I wrote that, that joke for Phoenix. They love humidity jokes. <laughs> killed in Phoenix. So you, know, you can enjoy that here in New York where the weather doesn't get to the street. Um, so we signed books for an hour. And I said, OK, stop, count them. They said, how many? It was 906. <laughs> And no animals were harmed <laughs> that you know of.